Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, in the last episode, we made it through Bli the, the, Blisty Moon, really, Misty Bloom Cave. In this episode, we're actually going to be making our way into Casimir Ca Ruins, I believe is the next one. I'm just going to ship those two items, and Aquamarine represents equanimity, known for its deep ocean-like blue hue. Just the gem of that one, which we have now shipped, which in a moment I'll mark off. I'm just here looking for, uh, hopefully some black grass out here in the field, because I need some of that. I need both white and black grass. I'm not really seeing much, though, so... Shame. Alright, I'm gonna go take care of my chores. Alright, and while the time I have left, I'll just kill some of these enemies. More cheap cloth, which I don't need. Alright, no good drops from them, sadly. But I actually went ahead in town, talked to Mayor Godwin along with the rest of the people, <clears throat> and just kind of figure out what's going on. It seems the monster in Misty Bloom Cave has been destroyed. Rakuna, you're a real foundation for this town, eh? I'll issue the pass for the next cave if you plow 100 squares in Misty Bloom Cave. I figured it was 100. Um, right. I'm gonna hit up all the houses, see if anyone has any unique dialogue about us, but, you know, no guarantee. How's your farm been recently? Misty Bloom Cave is some kind of mysterious place. There was a monster that powerful inside Misty Bloom Cave. I heard a rumor that you can catch some tasty fish over in Misty Bloom Cave. The spirits have been restless re recently. I'm worried. Oh, wow, you defeated the monster in Misty Bloom Caves too. You keep on impressing me. Oh, there was some someone singing in Misty Bloom Cave. I, I really don't know what happened recently. You're really strong now. What kind of monster do you find in the back of Misty Bloom Cave? Judging by that smirk in your face, I'd say you fared pretty well. Rikuna, you were in danger again. Please be careful. I'm glad you made it back safely again. I was a bit worried. There's a lot of water in Misty Bloom Cave, so you'd better take your rod. Once I upgrade my rod, I'll actually bother. Alright, I'm gonna call that good. I've spoken with most people. I figure, actually, I'll hit up, you know, Casimir Ruins. Just to see if she has any unique dialogue. Recently, I started seeing strange-looking people. It's a sign of danger. Level up already. Wow, oh, okay. Fear will just kill the enemies I run by. And he paralyzed me on the first shot, of course he did. Earth Crystal, one of their drops, not worth it because we can mine those. And do mine those. A lot. I don't think I'm gonna bother removing these stumps because I don't think I'll need to. I think I'll be just fine even without removing them. See if I can't get a good drop from this. Oh, an emerald! Thirty-five, seventy-one. Plus, like, two more fields, one of the- yeah, okay. Absolutely, I've done more than enough. Hello. I'm a bit worried of the movements of the Empire, but besides that, why would they be interested in this remote bird? Hey, Godwin. Hello. You also plowed Mr. Boom Cave. As I expect, Riguna, you have the gift of an Earthmate. I'm issuing you a new pass for the Casimir Ruins. Good luck. Got the pass for the Casimir Ruins. Alright, I'm just gonna kill ten minutes just standing right out here so that we can actually take our bath. Okay, so what do people have to say about the Casimir Ruins? Oh, I don't think they'll say anything because I've already spoken with them today. It's typically just the first piece of dialogue. So we'll start making progress into the Casimir Ruins. Let's do it. Hello. I heard there's a fierce monster living in the Casimir Ruins. By the way, Raguna, have you done any work on your own farm recently? It's fine to head off exploring the caves, but you still gotta tend to your own fields. Whatever you say. You're always right, Mist. I don't know what I'm talking about. So we've seen the Casimir Ruins many times before. 
Nothing new here. The Empire slow showing signs of hostility. I'm frightened. Alright. As we walk in, no miss. I almost walked into that poison. So this will not be the time that I actually take on the dungeon boss. I'll probably do that tomorrow. But this will be a good opportunity for us to potentially get good resources. Emerald, always nice. Silver, dang. Actually, I might just clear the cave, but not fight the dungeon boss. Which means you might be actually getting the full explanation of all the enemies right now. Which I actually, need, I actually haven't written that up yet. Eh, whatever. Sure, it's not huge. There were holes back here. Yep. I guess there was nothing in this one. Alright, forgot. Empty room. I'll try mining these on my way out. There's something written here. Let's see. The door shall open the blessings of the land. Oh. Right. Give me a moment. I'm pretty sure I know what's going on. Yeah, okay. I found what I was looking for. I forgot we cannot do this today anyway because you have to plant crops in all these fields. So you know what, just... I completely forgot this, but it is what's happening. And they reuse this in Rune Factory too. <laughs> Not my favorite part. So today, since I've already missed my opportunity to buy seeds, I'll just kind of plow all these. Then I'll mine, then I'm out of here. Dang. If I had planned this better, I would have gotten some, some seeds earlier today, but I'd completely forgot about this. Once again, it has been a few years since I played these dungeons, so while I remember, like, bosses and things like that, I don't remember every detail. So I'm getting gold here. Potentially, you can get platinum. That is exactly what I'm going for. I'm hoping to make a platinum hammer. But... I'm not quite, you know, succeeding. Less than an hour. Apparently you can get little crystals here. Nice to know. <sighs> and back to the daily grind. So my goal is to hopefully get some kind of drop from one of these guys. Oh. Water crystal. Not great, to be honest. Oh well. Don't think these guys have anything I care about either. These Shadow Panthers do, though. They have the Panther Claw item, which I need. So as it turns out, they don't drop the Panther Claw, they drop the Wolf Claws. That is a mistranslation. I need a total of three of them. Managed to get one. We'll have to do more later, though, because I do have something else to do. We have the entire month to get all the items out of here we need, 
and it'll be easier to get the rest of it besides monster drops once we have better tools. Some kind of magic book called Absorber or something came in. Now you're going to cast me a ruins? I pray for your safety. Life Absorber. Hmm. So that's probably a drain status to heal myself and hurt the enemies. Morning. Now we're gonna head into Casmir Ruins and not sure I read this. Casmir Ruins, unauthorized entry prohibited. Godwin, Mayor of Cardia, Casmarine's client, Mystical Land with a Spring Climate. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to plant a bunch of radishes. I think they're radishes in this game. Plant a bunch of radishes, get them growing. I believe it takes something like four days. So, we'll be able to, yeah, we'll be able to finish this fairly quickly. We'll finish it right around uh, holiday. Ah, uh, crap. Well, I'm glad I got one extra. And of course I wouldn't have enough. Oh, it's frozen, right. Is the river frozen? Of course it isn't. Better not be. So essentially we had exactly the amount of water we needed to patch up the second half of it. The second bit of it. This will be the final one. And we're out of water. So, you know, perfect. Hopefully, we can get some platinum here. If we're really lucky. I'm doing max charge and only getting iron. Occasionally getting some other things like gold or, you know, wind crystals, but... Oh, a little crystal, nice. Once again, really good for uh, medicine making. My pharmacy skill. Oh, good job, me. Just walk straight into that. that that's that's great. <laughs> and then just throw it on your freaking medicine. Why, why not? Why not? Just mash buttons. See what I care. I am an absolute fool sometimes. <laughs> so, you've come to buy something. Thanks as always for coming. Buy two stacks of uh, is it two stacks of this? I forgot I moved you up. Two stacks of apples, just in case. I don't know quite how many I need. Probably less than a stack, but I always am short on what I need. Welcome. And if we come hang out with Emmett, could I see the menu? Now, youth grass. This foreign plant buds deep blue flowers, rumored to prevent wrinkles. Oh, um, I guess we're gonna sell our junk to him. Now, one youth grass. The youth grass, as far as I know, holds no purpose. It has a good little flavor text, but doesn't actually do anything. Why they kept it in? I don't know, maybe it was a part of the original recipe for the Art of Tack, Art of Fence, and Art of Magic, but they kept it in and not those items, so, you know, lots of question marks there. I have a level 3 emerald right here. I'll ship that. Oh, I never actually showed off what they were. Emerald represents happiness. An emerald with few scratches is worth more. So yeah. Also, I have a wolf claw, so I'm gonna ship it. Wolf claw is a claw so sharp it can tear through steel. Okay, so yeah, no, I cannot 
get any good drops from monsters in Casimir. So instead, how about if I were to fight monsters in Misty Bloom? The High Orc has Quality Cloth. Quality Cloth can be obtained from Greed Cave as well, so it's not a priority. Fish Fossil, on the other hand, can only be obtained from Skyfish and Shira from Misty Bloom. So Skyfish should be the ones I focus on. And now we head into Misty Bloom once again to try for these items. Just kill that guy as I run past. These Skyfish are actually our prize for today. The Fish Fossil. The one we actually really need from this guy. Okay, so I looked it up. Oh, I didn't look it up, but I looked at it in my notes. We need six Fish Fossils. Um, Skyfish are not the only enemy to drop it. The Shira also drops this. So, for now, we're going to focus on the Skyfish until we get one specific drop, then I may switch over to the Shira. Another Fish Fossil, that's two out of six. A Water Crystal. Of course, that is not the drop I was hoping for. Oh, another fish fossil. I believe that's three. I actually freaking leveled up. I am now a grand total of level 88. I'm not getting the drop I need. The blue crystal seed. And another fish fossil. I believe that's number four out of six. Now, from here, I think we have to head south and then to the right. Then over to the east. So the reason why we, we might want to fight the Shira over the Skyfish is that the Shira has an extra drop. The Blue Crystal Seed is the rare drop of the Skyfish. And the Shira's one is the, I believe, the Agua element? It's a little bit tougher. And it's kind of being annoying with how it's attacking and everything. But, you know, you do what you can. So I'm not sure if I've hit up the bathhouse yet today, let alone if I've, you know, if it's even open. But I'm going to try. Oh my god, how I try. I try all the time. Okay, so you're still open. Yeah, okay. Then since they've, since I've already used the bath today... I've just got to head south into uh, Carmite Cave. Oh, another fish fossil, so I believe we only need one more. Another fish fossil, so I believe that's it. Let's see, do we have six on us? We do. I never have to actually fight the Shira or the... Uh, Skyfish ever again. Ah, I'm shut in. Ah. There we go. A scorpion tail. That is one of the items I was looking for from these scorpions. I'm looking for where it is on the list. That is the only scorpion tail we need. So now we just need the other drop this has, and we're done. Dang, I was really hoping. That would have been really funny, to be honest. With this limited amount of time and getting everything we need. Okay, so we finished off the fish fossils. We got the scorpion tail. The... What's the name of it? I believe it's the speckled skin. Or pretty skin or something like that. We need three of. 
but you know that shouldn't be too hard just fighting those two enemies over and over again easy easy peasy i'm going to check my list just to be sure um pretty skin pretty skin yep only through the scorpions and misty bloom so we'll take care of that Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Through the next three days in game, we're just going to be watering those fields and kind of grinding up items over in uh, Misty Bloom. Other than that, tomorrow is Sabrina's birthday, so we get to celebrate that. Hooray! I hope you all had a nice time, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>